family. What was it? What was it like for you to not be drafted in the first round? Did it ease the pain to get to come to your hometown team? Um, I had pretty high hopes of being in the first round. Uh, that's kind of what my goal was: uh, late first, early second. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't go to first. But I'm I'm beyond excited to be able to come back home and play for my hometown, and you know, just to be able to do good things for the city and play good, great football. And, you know, I'm just excited. Mark Berman. Hey, Ross, congratulations. What was it like at your home with your family when you guys got the news? My man, Mark, I meant to call you back, man. It was just a lot going on. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what, what was it like? It was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, just uh, amazing emotions. Um, we kind of had it. We had a little feeling. I said right before they, put the, they called, I said, Houston's about to call. I just had that feeling, so. And but yet I was talking to Bill O'Brien. Do you have a follow up, Mark? Yeah, you had you had talked uh, here a couple of days ago about being at NRG Stadium uh, for the first time in that scenario, going to the locker room, being with Bill, spending a day with him. When you think back to that, and now you're now you're joining the team for good. What what are your thoughts about all that, Ross? It's it's amazing how God works. Um, like I said, I've never been around the Houston facility like that for the first time, and you know, it was amazing um, just to be be there. And now it's going to be home, so I'm going to be there quite often. And it's even better that I'm only 20 minutes off the road. My family be able to come watch me play. And it's just, it's, it's, I'm out. I'm lost to words. It's just amazing. Cody Stutes. Ross, tell us a little bit about your your game. What, what, what are the Texans fans going to see when you get on the field? And, and what do you bring to the table as a, as a defensive lineman? Definitely. Um, I bring, I bring physicality. I bring passion. I bring leadership. I bring um, just relentless effort. You know, I just want to be able to be the best that I can be. Um, my potential is through the roof, just like anybody else's would be. And I just want to be able to make sure I can reach that potential and more, and you know, just keep growing and improving as you know the years go by. When you when you talk about that potential, Ross. Um, I think a lot of people think about defensive tackles, interior linemen as sort of pass rushers. Now, what do you think about your uh, chance to maybe rush the pass or your ability to rush the passer at the NFL level? Yeah, I think it'll be a, a, diff, a more different transition. Um, in the Big 12, it was a lot of pass, a passing, it was more passing than running. So just becoming, coming in and transferring to, you know, new scheme, new system, new level. So I think I'll get the hang of it once, you know, um, just practice makes perfect. Just each day, I just will get better and better and just um, improve my technique stuff and pass rush abilities and things like that. Aaron Reese. Ross, uh, you obviously uh, spent the 2018 season out and then had a really strong uh, last year at TCU. What, what do you think you were able to still get better at during that, that time when you weren't able to actually play on the field? Yeah, um, just learning – uh, just being more of a football player when my time's out, uh, being more of a study of, study of the game. I spend more time in film. Uh, even though I couldn't be there um, most of the time because due to my injury, I couldn't walk for a while. Um, once I got back, I was always active with the guys. I was always uh, watching film with them as, as, as if I was still playing that season. Um, just another coach on the side, uh, you know, just kind of improving those young guys, let, the guy, let them get better. But, um, just missing out that season helped me mentally, though, as a player. Christy Regan? Ross, I wondered what was it like growing up with a father that played for the Harlem Globetrotters, and what made you decide on football instead of basketball? Yeah, it was it was really fun growing up. Um, my dad, he's a he's a pioneer. He's a walking le- he's a walking legend. Um, he doesn't talk about it as much as I do, but you know. Um, Growing up with him, basketball just it wasn't my first love. Football was always my first love. Um, I thought basketball was just too soft for me. I always used to foul out when I played AAU and stuff like that. But um, I think uh, my dad created he, my dad created a legacy in basketball for our family. So I think I was meant to do it for football. I'll be the first person in my family to be in the NFL. So um, it's a pretty good start for me. Sorry, give me one second. Um, Pat? 
Welcome to Houston, Ross. Ross, your interactions with uh, the Texans through the draft process, uh, besides the workout, uh, how did that go? Uh, the workout went really good. Um, spent the day with the team, uh, with coaching staff and stuff like that. Um, I enjoyed it, um, being able to go through playbook and learning new things um, and just being able to walk around the facility. You know, it's, it's nice. It's a really nice place. Um, but I enjoyed it, man. I really did. I don't know who, KPRC TV, I don't know who's asking the question, but your station came up. Hey, what's up? Sorry. Uh, Ross, congratulations. I saw you, see you're wearing a uh, big chain that goes with the sweater. Tell me a little bit about uh, what is underdog mentality. Yeah, underdog mentality. Um, it's my brand. It's kind of my logo, my lifestyle that I live in as an athlete. Um, just like Nike, just like Adidas, whatever the case may be, this is something I want to represent athletes. Um, kind of that goes, that fits with it is, you know, uh, as an athlete, you know, people always have their opinions on you as a player or, you know, just a critics or whatever. Just trust yourself as a player. Believe in yourself. At the end of the day, let your work speak for yourself and for the results, you know, and stuff like that. So I wanted to create something for athletes that they can relate to. And, you know, everybody has potential. The sky isn't the limit. You know, you can go, you can be on, you can go beyond and far how, you know, how high you want to go in life. Um, that's kind of what it represents, though. DP? Hi, Ross. Welcome to Houston. Um, growing up in, in Houston and Missouri City, did you have a favorite Texans moment that um, that really stands out to you? And has it sunk in that you're going to play on the same D-line as, as J.J. Watt? Uh, favorite Texans memory, I think, was – I'm trying to remember what year it was. It was way back when Brian Cushion was playing and um, Andre Johnson. I think it was – playoff game I can't remember but hey that was the one game I actually it was the one game I actually went to as a kid and I was sitting in the suite and I seen it it was a really good game but I can't remember but I know it was a good game because one uh, I say the best it was probably recent like when I was watching the Texas uh last uh this past season at Papacitos at Papados and it was going crazy I forgot who uh, who we were playing but we beat them like the last minute and we got when we played the Chiefs the next week but unfortunately we didn't win but um, I think that was one of my favorite six moments because the whole energy in the restaurant was crazy. Like it was, it was but I think that was the best moment. Oh, we muted again. Oh. One second. It's not letting me unmute Aaron Wilson, guys. I was gonna say JJ playing alongside JJ. Sorry. Oh, JJ. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, he's a he's an idol of mine. So I'll try to mirror my game after his, so it's gonna be surreal just being able to play next to a legend like that and make it. So um, I just wanted to explain and you know get gain as much knowledge as I possibly can. You know, just continue to grow. Aaron Wilson. Yes. Hey, Ross, congratulations. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Ross, what are some of your goals for your rookie season? What would you like to accomplish? And in terms of being 21 years old, you mentioned before how mature you are. Where does that maturity come from and that you're able to step into situations quickly and make an impact? Yeah, um, I get most of that maturity from my father and um, my parents. You know, I grew up in a great home. Uh, they taught me well. Um, I would say, um, being 20, yeah, being 21, you know, coming to a league where, you know, there's a lot of grown people out there, you know, it's a grown man game, it's a grown business. So I just try to keep my head on straight, stay focused on what's important. Um, and just, you know, do the right things, play good football, um, things like that. Okay, we're going to do two more, and then we'll let you go. We have one more thing for you to do after this, so. Okay. Berman? For us, all the moments that you've had in your life, where is that? You were breaking up. Can you say one more time? Uh, Mark? With all the special moments you've had in your life, where does this one stack up? This stacks up as number one. Um, definitely. I don't know if someone can top this. Um, 
but this is this, this is just amazing. Like I I, I don't re- I really I'm lost the words. Um, but I'm just excited to really get to work. Um, but this is definitely one of the top top moments in my life, highlight of my life, knowing that I worked so hard to get to this moment. Um, and it's here. Okay, we'll end with John McLean. Ross, you had to do a lot of two gapping at TCU. People say because of your quickness and explosiveness, you'll be better if you can shoot one gap. Texans play a lot of different fronts. How do you think you're gonna fit best with what Anthony Weaver is gonna want you to do? Um, I think I'll fit pretty good in, our, in the defense, uh, Texas defense. I come from a school where we run a lot of fronts, um, play a lot of crazy defenses. Anybody knows that TC football, we play a weird defense, but it works. Um, Coach Pete's been running for so many years. Um, I think it's, it'll help a lot. That I, well, It's helped a lot since I've come from TCU and I'll be in a scheme like Coach Weaver, so it'll be much easier and I can focus more about just, you know, attacking more. You know, we read more TCU's defense, so I think it'll be a good fit, a good transition.